So hello there, 11 days gone since we found the first eggs of Samia Rizzini on the leaves of Ligustrum vulgare and now it's time to see whether they have hatched and as you know from the other videos I, I, I keep the eggs in plastic boxes like this so that humidity uh, stays high inside and they are protected against little flies or whatever can come in here to, to harm them or the larvae. So now let's see whether we find something. I've seen some signs of them. Because they eat in groups you can see them where, where they just are eating on the underside of a leaf. Look here. I don't know whether you can see them here on this on this leaf here. Yeah, a small egg. They, oh yeah, here that's very nice to see. So here is a complete group of them as they grazing like a group of cows or whatever under this uh, under this leaf here. Very nice view. And they are very, very tiny. Look, here's the. They are around two to three millimeters long. That's really small for them. And I don't want to keep them too long now out in this uh, pretty cool air here in this garage. So I step forward. Just turn them like this and present them some new leaves also from this uh, new leaves so, so that would be the no enough I think for the next week or so and then I put it back here cover it again and we will see what happens next also here in this cage I, I checked whether we have also already seen some eggs here, but here I don't see no signs so far. So that is no problem because these eggs were laid uh, some days later than the other ones, so it's just normal that they are not yet uh, are not yet ready. But I think if you if you see the color of them. Sometimes just before a closure, the, the color of the eggs is slightly uh, changing to gray. And also here I just show you how small they are. They are around one and a half millimeter in diameter. So these are the eggs of some of uh, this famous Originally Norse Indian uh, silk moss that is much easier to rear and breed than the a little more fragile mulberry silk worm. Also I want to show you how I have prepared bushels of this Ligustrum vulgare in plastic pots like this, filled with water of course. So that's just uh, uh, made a hole inside of this and so I planted two to three twigs in there so that no uh, caterpillar can fall into the water here and here you see what you can do if you have three or four you can place some of the leaves where there are eggs uh, on just in the middle of this twig so as soon as the egg hatches uh, the, the little caterpillars can crawl up climb up these uh, leaves and start eating there, so that's what I do too. And then I put them back here. Of course, the adults they have they died already some days ago, they live around five to eight days because they have no functioning mouse parts. So, next uh, uh, check will be in around one week, then we see how they have grown from this tiny, tiny two, three millimeter long. Uh, first stage caterpillars of Samuel Rizzini, the eerie silk one. Thanks for watching.